Hello guys, this week on LaravelDaily.com we launched another new course, which is the third course in April alone, which is about multi-language Laravel. And over the upcoming days or weeks on this channel, I will shoot shorter videos with except from this course with quick tips about multi-language. So we're talking about static text translations with PHP or JSON files, then switching between languages with two demo projects, then packages for that for static text translation, and then separately how to translate models. So eloquent data like blog posts in multiple language. So this is the full list of lessons of this course. If you want the full course, the link will be in the description below, which is part of Laravel Daily Com membership. So choose yearly or monthly. But today we're talking about translating validation messages. And the tip will not be about multi-language strictly, but about passing parameters in array validation. So imagine the scenario that you have a form something like this. So product and quantity with multiple products to be added. And you need to validate them so each of them may be required or have some more validation rules. So here I have exactly that project on my local machine. And if I click create, the validation will show product one is required, product two is required and so on. So how to pass that product one and two if the products is array? Let's dive into the code. In the blade file of that form, we have just four loop from zero to nine. You can do it from one to 10. That's your personal preference. But basically each item has its own index with variable named I. And then if that specific field has validation error, this is how it is called. Errors get products dot I dot name. This is how validation works for arrays. Now, in the form request for that validation, we have those products name and products quantity as this with asterisk, which means all of the products are required, names are required and quantities are required. But this would not automatically set product one or product two. The main part of that translation or transformation is here. In the form request class, you can define messages and return messages for each of the field or field within the array with asterisk and with specific validation rule like required. And the main thing that I wanted to show you is this position. Position will automatically fill in the number one, two, or three, and that would automatically transform it to human friendly number, which means starts from one and not from zero as developers do. So for you to feel the difference, let's comment this method out. And if we perform the same validation, this is a default name for that field products, which is array name, then index starting from zero and dot name. So products dot zero dot name, which is totally not user friendly. So we need to transform it to some format. And this is one of those. And position is available from Laravel 9. I found a specific pull request for position placeholders in February of 2022. It was released in Laravel 9. But before Laravel 9, there was another option, index. So index will not transform the dev format to human format. So if we want to validate that way, create, and that would be product zero is required, product one is required, and so on. So if your array starts with zero and you have index here, the index would show zero. If you want starting from index one, you have position. So this is the trick that I wanted to show you today for validation of array and how to pass the number here. But you can read more tricks about translating specifically validations like array of fields in the lesson here. I will link that in the description below, as well as the full course I mentioned earlier. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.